About 90 million years ago, the frozen land of Antarctica wasn't what it looks like today. The icy landscape was once a lush tropical rainforest brimming with life. Numerous species called Antarctica home millions of years ago, but the flora and fauna disappeared when the land turned into an icy tundra. Today, only several species continue to live in the freezing landscape of the southern hemisphere. It's the only continent with no permanent human habitation, and it might remain that way. Many questions surround this cold and barren land, and to this day, we continue to discover new things that change our perspective about what lies in the southern hemisphere. From wonky compasses to a monstrous unknown creature, here are 15 fascinating discoveries in Antarctica that could change history. Number 15. No compasses beyond this area. Compasses are tools used for navigation, but there's something strange about our planet that renders these indispensable tools useless. Earth's peculiar magnetism. The South Pole is one of the few places on Earth that has no official time zone and no official routes. There's no way of knowing where you are, even if you have a compass with you. For some strange reason, compasses stop working the closer you get to the North and South Poles. Navigation instruments that contain magnetized pointers lose their sense of direction, and you have no choice but to rely on something else to navigate. Compasses are designed so that the north end of the needle is always attracted to the magnetic north pole. Naturally, the opposite end would be the southern hemisphere. But for some strange reason, the closer you get to the south pole, the more the magnet on your compass will try to point straight down. That's why if you try to find true north while standing anywhere in Antarctica, you won't have any luck. Your compass will spin in all directions, trying to find its way. Some claim that this is because something is protecting the South Pole. An unseen force is preventing people from exploring the entirety of the Southern Hemisphere. But that seems like a far-fetched theory to many experts. Earth's magnetism is likely the only culprit, but who knows? There might be something in the Southern Hemisphere that is actively preventing us from exploring it properly. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. UFO crash landing or just a rock? Antarctica is reserved for people with money or scientists who want to gather data and conduct research. Most people will never step foot in Antarctica. Thanks to the internet, however, even ordinary people can have the chance to explore the Antarctic ice sheets without leaving their homes. Sometimes, satellite images reveal the most astounding discoveries. For instance, an internet user exploring a map of Antarctica suddenly spotted this strange feature on a rocky landmass at the South Pole. In the photo, you can see that the feature doesn't look like an ordinary rock. Instead, it looks like an extraterrestrial aircraft. Some people believe that this is just an ordinary rock, but some believe that it makes sense for extraterrestrial spacecraft to crash land near the South Pole. This isn't the only incident where people saw suspicious features in the Southern Hemisphere while looking at satellite images. In this next photo, you can see an elongated object that seems to have crashed into the icy landscape of Antarctica. This photo was captured near Mount Paget, a 9,629-foot-tall mountain. Some people claim that a spacecraft made an emergency landing in the area. It's somehow believable because of the long trail the object left behind. However, experts believe that the alleged spaceship is nothing but a rock that fell from a high area. In this next photo, you can see what looks like a flying saucer hiding among the rocky terrain in Antarctica. This was allegedly taken in the southern hemisphere by an unidentified group of researchers. It's quite fishy for the actual source of the photo to be kept secret, and so many believe this is a hoax. Even so, many are convinced that countless spaceships visit the southern hemisphere without our knowledge. Number 13. 17-pound meteorite hidden away for thousands of years. Earlier this year, a group of scientists who went on an expedition to Antarctica discovered five perfectly preserved meteorites hiding in the southern hemisphere for thousands of years. Among them was the heaviest space rock discovered on the continent, a 17-pound meteorite. Now, you might not believe this, but Antarctica is one of the best places to discover meteorites. It's incredibly easy to spot space rocks in the white landscape, and the frigid environment ensures their preservation. We've already discovered 45,000 meteorites in the Southern Hemisphere. Now that's a lot. To give you an idea, we've discovered around 70,000 meteorites worldwide. That means more than half have been found in Antarctica. Essentially, a lot of space rocks head toward our planet every year. 
However, less than 5% of these rocks successfully fall onto our planet. After all, most of the rocks burn up as they travel through the Earth's atmosphere. Large meteorites are considered significant finds, but their size doesn't really matter. Each meteorite, regardless of its size, tells us about outer space, and scientists use these cosmic cannonballs to gather information about the heavenly bodies surrounding us. Now, doesn't this make you wonder? If Antarctica is a place filled with meteorites, isn't it highly likely that it's also a place where alien spacecraft land? Number 12. Antarctic Fungi Imagine a place where temperatures reach negative degrees Celsius, an incredibly close place, yet receives little to no rain, a place where almost no creatures exist, Antarctica. And yet, among the unforgiving and almost inhospitable environment of the South Pole is a feisty fungus. Overall, there are about a hundred thousand fungus species all around the world. Many of them are found almost everywhere on our planet, but there are also species that choose to live in the most extreme places on our planet. One of the most fantastic fungus species was discovered by explorers in Antarctica. The fungus was discovered in wooden relics left behind by past expeditions to Antarctica. While exploring the remains of a wooden hut set up in the Antarctic by explorers in the early 1900s, a pathologist discovered traces of fungal decay in the materials. The fungus stumped experts who couldn't believe that a microorganism managed to survive in the extreme climate. Although most people think that the fungi are disgusting, especially molds and mildew. Pathologists view these creatures differently. Fungi live by attacking other materials, including wood. As long as there's something around, they can scavenge. They can create nutrients to sustain themselves. However, the most interesting thing is that before the explorers in the 1900s visited Antarctica, there were no known native fungus species living in the region. This goes to show that human interference affects biodiversity anywhere in the world. Number 11. The unknown third man factor, or just a coincidence? This might sound trippy, but the third man factor is one of the freakiest things ever reported in icy environments, including Antarctica. When Ernest Shackleton set out on an expedition in Antarctic waters, many waited with bated breath. Many worried that the entire team would not return safely. Many people already know about the failed experiment, but a single detail about their journey is often left out, the third man factor. It was said that when Ernest Shackleton and his team trekked along the icy terrain of the Antarctic after their vessel failed, they could feel the presence of someone else along with them. Shackleton claimed that while they were walking, he could feel that there were actually four of them instead of three. The phenomena is widely reported, especially by polar explorers. It was named after an experience Peter Hillary, a renowned explorer, had. He claimed a third person followed him and his partner while exploring the icy region. Of course, scientists tried to unravel this strange phenomenon. Could it be that the explorers were simply so exhausted that their senses failed them? Or is it really true that a mysterious entity guides lost travelers exploring the frozen parts of our planet to safety? Scientists conducted experiments where healthy subjects were made to see after images of themselves, creating the illusion that someone else was in the room. However, the sensation they experienced was so creepy that many subjects decided to back out. Many travelers and researchers claimed that while they were lost, they saw people walking alongside them. These entities would provide them comfort, guidance, and advice while finding their way to safety. Could it be that we really have guardian angels? Or are there entities in the most isolated and desolate parts of our planet that wait for lost travelers with the sole purpose of guiding them back to safety? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Number 10. Amazing See-Through Fish in 2015, researchers drilling through Antarctica's Ross Ice Shelf discovered something incredibly unexpected. In case you're asking yourself why scientists were drilling there in the first place, it's simply for science. After drilling, scientists discovered microbes, crustaceans, and some of the strangest creatures on our planet. Using a hot water drill, scientists drilled several miles into the Ross Shelf, and underneath a massive chunk of ice, they discovered amazing see-through fish. Researchers also discovered an entire colony of around 60 million fish in the ice-covered Weddell Sea in Antarctica. Among the sea creatures is the Neopagetopsis iona. Trust me, this see-through fish is among the most amazing creatures on Earth. This ice fish was just discovered recently, so we don't know much about them just yet. What we're sure about, however, is that these creatures don't have red blood cells. 
Since it lives in Antarctica, where the temperature is incredibly low, this fish has evolved to have an antifreeze protein in its blood. This prevents the creature from freezing and ensures ice crystals don't grow inside its body. This unique discovery goes to show that there are a lot more things to discover in the North and South Poles. Who knows what other strange creatures lurk in the frigid oceans of our planet? Number 9. Mysterious Singing Ice You're probably wondering what singing ice is. The last time I checked, ice can't really sing, right? Well, there is a massive chunk of ice in Antarctica that has been singing for years. In 2017, scientists claimed that an ice shelf at the South Pole constantly sings at a frequency that isn't audible to human ears. This eerie but compelling tune is almost always at a frequency of 5 hertz, 5 cycles per second. Initially, scientists were quite confused about where this eerie sound originated. That is, until they discovered that the culprit was the topmost layer of the Ross Shelf. It took years of research and more than 30 seismic sensors to learn the truth about the doleful hum resonating throughout the Antarctic. Although it is rather creepy, there isn't much mystery behind the humming. Scientists explain that the singing was created by the wind blowing across the top of the ice shelf. However, the song of the ice shelf also tells us a lot of things. The sound isn't a mere creepy tone. Rather, it's a song that scientists can use to gather data about the ice shelf. By listening and observing its tune, experts can monitor various aspects of the Ross ice shelf. Number 8. Centuries-old fruitcake This is a bit off topic. But is there really anyone who wants to eat fruitcake? I can't really remember a time when I craved this pastry. Although it has the word cake in its name, it's not really the most appetizing. It is a popular gift to give out during the holidays because of its long shelf life. But no one looks forward to receiving them, right? But how would you like to taste a century-old, finely aged fruitcake that has been preserved by nature itself? In 2017, experts discovered the oldest fruitcake on the entire planet. It was found in the coldest and driest place on Earth. What better place to hide and preserve a fruitcake, an already popular indestructible food, than the largest natural refrigerator in the world, the Antarctic? Hidden in the oldest building at the South Pole is a fruitcake left behind by the British explorer Robert Falcon Scott during the Antarctic expedition between 1910 and 1913. The fruitcake was still wrapped in paper and encased in a tin. Scientists described the fruitcake as still in an almost edible state. The cake was from the baker's Huntley and Palmer's. Scientists claimed that they could smell a rather disgusting buttery scent emanating from the cake. But other than that, it smells and looks edible. Would you dare try this fruitcake? I don't know about you, but it's a hard pass for me. Number 7. The Doomed Endurance Shipwreck Sir Ernest Shackleton is a household name for those interested in Antarctic explorations. He was an Anglo-Irish Antarctic explorer who led three expeditions to the Antarctic region. He bravely faced the harshness of the frozen continent in exchange for exploring uncharted territory. One of the vessels he sailed was the Endurance. This vessel tragically sank during one of the failed attempts to cross Antarctica. The Endurance expedition began in 1914, and by 1915, it was already trapped in ice. The people who joined the expedition lived on the vessel for months until they were forced to abandon the ship to trek on the ice. On November 21, 1915, the Endurance sank into the icy waters of the Antarctic. It wasn't until recently that we developed new technology that could recover the sunken vessel of Endurance from the icy depths of Antarctica. Number 6. Antarctic Pyramids At the beginning of 2016, a strange discovery circulated the internet. Several people claimed that while looking around Antarctica on Google Earth, they discovered images of what looked like ice pyramids. A pyramid is a structure with a triangular surface. Many ancient cultures all around the world have built pyramids that exist to this day, from the Great Pyramids in Egypt to the temples in Cambodia. And so, if there is a pyramid in Antarctica, there might be a lot more to discover on the continent. After all, the existence of such a refined and sophisticated structure could only mean that an ancient civilization once occupied the frozen location, long before the first explorers stepped foot on Antarctica, and long before Antarctica was quote-unquote discovered. There are a lot of theories about the pyramids in Antarctica. Some of the theories are somewhat controversial. Some claim that in the past, an Atlantean civilization existed in Antarctica. They might have lived on the continent thousands of years ago. Still. 
They could create and build pyramids because they had skills that were literally out of this world. They were extraterrestrial creatures who visited our planet and decided to make a temporary home on Earth. Two of the pyramids in Antarctica are located about 10 miles from the coast, while the third is located near the shoreline. Number 5. The Antarctic King Today, there aren't a lot of creatures living in Antarctica. You have penguins, seals, and tiny creatures, but that's about it. However, millions of years ago, the biome in Antarctica was incredibly different. A long time ago, a creature known as the Antarctic King roamed its lands. More than 250 million years ago, Antarctica had a landscape that could support a lot of life. Its temperature wasn't as unforgiving as it is now. In fact, it was rare for the temperature to reach negative degrees. One of the creatures that called Antarctica home was an iguana-sized reptile that was an early relative of the dinosaurs. It's known as the Antarctanx Shackletoni. Its first name roughly translates to Antarctic King. Meanwhile, its second name is a tribute to none other than Ernest Shackleton, one of the earliest people who dared to explore Antarctica. Researchers discovered an incomplete fossil of the creature, and although it wasn't complete, it was enough to give experts a rough idea of what it looked like. It resembled a tiny lizard, but in the past, it was one of the feistiest creatures on the land. Number 4. Dead Bodies It's a tragic fact that a lot of people succumb to the frozen environment of Antarctica while exploring it. One of the most horrific stories was of Captain Scott. Captain Robert Falcon Scott was a British Royal Navy officer who led a team of explorers to the Antarctic region. He bravely spearheaded two expeditions in Antarctica, but in his last one, he perished on the frozen landscape. It wasn't until October 29, 1912 that the body of Captain Scott was discovered by Trygve Grant, a young Norwegian explorer. Grant described in his journal how exactly he found the body of Captain Scott. In his diary, he claimed that the body of Captain Scott turned a transparent yellow color due to the freezing temperature. Beside the man were two others who looked as if they were just asleep. Captain Scott, however, looked like he suffered immensely in his last moments. As a reward for exploring Antarctica and finding Captain Scott's body, Gran won the Polar Medal. Recently, his sledding journals, which included some of the most horrifying tales about the Antarctic exploration, sold for a staggering 150,000 euros. Number 3. The Oldest Sperm in the World Sperm cells are quite hard to preserve. That's why scientists were incredibly impressed when they discovered a fossilized sperm cell in Antarctica. What's more astounding is the fact that it can be traced back to 50 million years ago. Now, you're probably thinking that the sperm cell belonged to a human, which doesn't add up considering its age. The sperm cell belonged to a class of earthworms and leeches called Clitellida. This species lived in the early Eocene period, around the time when the first horses, sheep, and rhinos graced the Earth. The sperm cell could only survive until recently because a jelly-like cocoon enclosed the entire cell. Through this and the freezing temperature in Antarctica, the fossilized cell survived for millions of years. Spermatozoa are exceptionally delicate, and they aren't observed in nature for very long. In fact, they're among the hardest to preserve. Number 2. Largest Recorded Iceberg Icebergs are large floating chunks or masses of ice detached from a glacier or an ice sheet. Although these chunks of ice have been separated from the glacier, experts continue to track their journey. The largest iceberg ever recorded by area measured around 295 by 37 kilometers. That's a whopping 159 by 20 nautical miles. It's a massive iceberg about the size of the island of Jamaica. It broke off from the massive Ross Ice Shelf in March 2000. And since then, it was called Iceberg B-15. In 2018, however, the iceberg was seen broken into tiny fragments. And today, most of the Iceberg B-15 is melted away. Melting and breaking into tiny fragments are everyday occurrences for an iceberg. After all, an iceberg's journey will end sooner or later. However, because of our ever-changing planet, the rate at which icebergs disappear is rapidly increasing. It's a regular occurrence. But soon enough, there will come a time when the Southern Hemisphere will become warmer and warmer. As our planet continues to change, just like Antarctica turned into a frozen tundra from a rainforest biome, the glaciers might soon melt. As dramatic changes occur in the polar regions, the entire world will also be affected. Scientists believe that as the glaciers and bergs in the icy regions of our planet continue to melt, the ocean level will rise all over the world. We'll never know 
The melting ice might reveal the secrets hidden in the southern hemisphere, but will we be able to endure the changes in our planet? And now it's time for today's topic. There is a new discovery on the edge of Antarctica that scares scientists. Antarctica is among the most inhospitable places on Earth. It's also the most mysterious. Men who would like to learn more about the frozen land need to venture into this frigid and icy plain to gather data. Most people think that there's nothing to discover in Antarctica, but time and time again, scientists held their interest in the Southern Hemisphere, believing there's more to it than ice. Several people believe that long before the first modern humans ventured into Antarctica, a long-lost civilization made it their home and established a flourishing society amidst its unforgiving environment. Some believe that remnants of this civilization are still out there beneath the Antarctic ice. In fact, some people believe scientists have already uncovered evidence of this long-lost civilization but are keeping it a secret. What do you think about this theory? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. Mysterious Antarctic Monster In the 1960s, a Japanese research vessel traversed the icy waters of the Antarctic to learn more about the creatures inhabiting the area. At the time, we didn't know as much about the Southern Hemisphere as we do today. The researchers were eager to discover new creatures, but the team didn't expect what they saw. A massive creature between 20 to 30 meters in length appeared before them. The creature broke through the surface of the icy water, and the researchers were astounded. The being that appeared before them was unlike any other they'd ever seen. The witnesses claimed that the creature they saw was entirely white in color. It had a human-like shape with arms and legs, and it even had five-fingered hands. It also had a pair of eyes and a mouth, but its nose was non-existent. Because of its man-like appearance, it was named the Ningen, after the Japanese word for human. Shortly after it showed itself, it immediately dove back into the water and disappeared into the frigid depths. Since then, several people have claimed to see the Ningen, and some submersibles obtained short clips showing the creature. However, there are still doubts surrounding its existence. Some claim that the description of the Ningen is too vague. Its size and features vary, and the only consistent description of it is its white color. There were no other attempts to hunt the Ningen down for fear that it was a man-eating monster. While many dismiss the Ningen as a myth and an imaginary creature, many explorers believe that it's not impossible for such a monster to exist in the deepest and darkest waters of the Antarctic. What do you think about these discoveries? Comment your thoughts down below. If you have any other fun facts about the South Pole, feel free to share them down below as well. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.